This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a very cool looking typography animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a pretty simple effect, but it looks super awesome. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be called as render as a main render comp. Let's set the width to 1920 and height to 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then let's create a new composition for our text. I'm going to call this text with the same exact properties. Hit OK. Let's select the text tool and then type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in something like creative. All right, let's increase the size to around 300 and align this into the center. By the way, I'm using the heading compressed bold font. I have mentioned the link in the description so you can go ahead and download this same exact font. And by the way, you can download the complete free pro project file from the link in the description. So here we have our text. Now what I'm going to do is hit control K on the keyboard, which is going to reveal the composition settings. And I'm going to try to match the composition size to our text. So I'm going to make it something like this big and let's bring down the size as well. Like so. All right, hit OK, then go back into the main render composition, drag and drop in the text comp. So there we have it. Now we need to move the anchor point to the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that snapping is turned on, select the pan behind tool and let's move the anchor point right over here. So it snaps to the bottom and then we can make this layer 3D, hit R to bring down the rotation properties and then rotate the X rotation to 90. And then I can go right over here, turn on the title action, save, select this and let's drag this and place this into the center like that. So you can see. We've properly placed it like this. Looks good. Then let's zoom into our timeline, go to around 10 frames. Let's create a marker right over here. Then let's go into fix and preset, search for gradient ram. Double click to apply this. I should have probably done this with the X of X rotation at zero. So I can see what's happening. Let's swap the colors and that looks pretty fine to me again let's adjust this ramp a little bit and also i will add a ramp scatter of around 50 so we get this very nice kind of a noisy look in the gradient map i think 50 is way too much so i'll go to somewhere around 20 that looks much better and then now let's set the x rotation to 90 degrees actually not 90 let's go with 75 that looks something like this and let's duplicate this so hit control D to duplicate it hit R again to bring down the rotation properties and let's rotate this a little bit more like so so let's keep this somewhere around maybe 60 hit control D again rotate this and let's keep this one to something like let's say 40 then let's hit control D one more time and let's rotate this like so and let's set this to maybe i don't know zero looks good now i'll close them up let's change the color of these layers to red then i'm going to select the bottom one hit ctrl d put that below let's change this one to something different that is yellow hit r and let's rotate this to something like this one like maybe around 100 degrees hit control d select this bottom one and let's rotate this a bit more like so so i'll go with something like um, 110 or uh, let's go with 115 actually it looks much better i think 
um yeah i think 113 looks good hit control d let's select this one again let's rotate this a little bit something like this and maybe i'll rotate this a bit more that looks good and then finally let's create one more duplicate hit control d select this one hit r and let's set this to all the way to around 180 i think and then we can adjust these accordingly so we get this really cool look as you can see i think i i, I won't go with 180 degrees i think it looks a, a bit flat to me so i'm gonna just move this a little bit closer same with this one let's not leave it at zero let's move this a bit closer like this so yes now we are good to go now let's select all the layers hit r to bring down the rotation and create a keyframe on the x rotation go back and set the x rotation at 90 degrees and boom there we have this really cool animation but you know at the moment if i preview this it's gonna look uh, pretty flat so in order to add a little bit of bounce to this i will be using a very simple expression that i got from motionscript.com so you can head on to motion script and you know download or copy this free expression that will help you to enhance your animations so i'm going to copy this expression and then i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the x rotation and hit Control v simply and i'm going to repeat the same process so i can just and then what i'm going to do is make sure i select the x rotation right here go into edit and then click on copy expression then i'll hit Control a u to close them up then select all the other layers go into edit and then click on paste and now and now if i just increase the time maybe a little bit and then preview this you can see we get this very nice bouncy look which makes it seem like it's made of paper or something now before i proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. But we are not done yet. Um, I'm going to displace them. Uh, I'm going to basically offset them by one frame each. So I can just simply move this one frame forward, two frames, and this one, two, three frames. So basically, same with this one. I'm going to move this at four, this one to three, and this one to two. And now if I preview this, we get a little bit of offset and it, and it looks super cool as you can see. Very easy to create. And the best part is that you can anytime jump into the composition of the text. You can change this to something like, I don't know, let's type in something like motions or something. And if I go back, boom, it will get updated pretty sweet now one final thing that you can do to achieve even more uh, depth into the scene is that you can create a new camera it can be a 35 millimeter camera hit ok and then actually go into the camera properties turn on the depth of field and let's increase the aperture and blur level and then change the focus distance so that it focuses on the texture and then you can see we get a very very cool look so i can just adjust the focus point and play around with the blur level to get a really nice depth and if i preview it now you can see we have a very nice look i can even um turn on the motion blur for all the layers which is going to make them look even more organic i think 
and boom there we have a very cool typography animation inside of after effects and that too you can see using some very simple steps and without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video which motivates me to create more such videos for you guys also do let me know in the comment section below if you found this tutorial helpful and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.